and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I'm going to be making a mountain inspired soap and uh, I'm really excited to do this. I had some extra batter on another soap uh, I made previously and I made some little embeds that are go in, going to go in the sky portion of this soap. Um, and the way that I'm going to tackle making this soap, because I work with a slab mold that I use in most of my videos, it's a tall triple skinny from Workshop Heritage and I really love it. Um, but the way I'm going to tackle this is I'm going to make my, I'll get all of my oils ready to go and get my lye solution ready to go and split each in half. And I'm going to work at one half at a time because I'm going to pour my bottom mountain region um, and I'll be using activated charcoal and a combination of activated charcoal and black pearl from Nurture Soap to color the bottom portion. And I need it to set up so that I can sort of swoop up and make my little mountains in the slab mold. And um, while I'm waiting that for firming up, I didn't want to worry about the top layer getting too thick. So the way I tackle it is in bite-sized pieces, I'm gonna split everything in half. So pour the bottom mountain region, let it firm up a little, form my mountains, then mix my top part and get my little embeds down in there. <laughs> so that's what's in my mind. For the sky portion of this, I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna do an in the pot swirl using a silver mist from Nurture, Nurture Soap and a velvet pearl will be the light portion. And I'm hoping to just sort of get like a wispy night sky or day sky. We'll see what it looks like. These embeds are kind of bright. So when I cut this, we'll decide if it's a day moon or a night moon, <laughs> moon day sun or you, do, you know what I'm saying good heavens if it's a day or night sky I'm not sure we'll find out when we get there <laughs> this is going to be a coconut milk soap and the coconut milk that I use is this pure coconut milk it's guar gum free it makes a wonderful lather and it's really creamy and soap so that's the coconut milk I'm using um, and the fragrance that I'm using today is straight up savage from nature's garden and this smells fantastic. It is a, definitely a masculine scent, I think, but I would use it. I think it smells great. Let me read to you the scent description uh, from their website. So it has top notes of bergamot and rose absolute, middle notes of blue sky accord, Szechuan pepper and magnolia, and base notes of ambergris, which I'm not sure what that is, and sensual musk. Well, I just know it smells fantastic. So <laughs> that's the fragrance today for our mountain inspired soap. Um, got the embeds, got everything here. I'm gonna get everything pulled together, get my oil split in half, get my lye split in half, and let's come back and make some mountain inspired soap. And then when we cut, we'll decide if it's a day or a night. All right, let's make soap. So before I get to splitting my oils in half, I'm gonna add the additives to my oils that I want in everything, starting with my coconut milk. Um, so I have discounted this volume of liquid from my lye solution. So it's a pretty steep discount on my lye, but uh, it's going to be made up for here. But I want this in everything. So I'm going to go ahead and add my milk in oil method right now. Coconut milk. And um, I've been asked, I will do a future video um, with more detail on this, but let me just say that when you're doing a steep discount, the only caution is whatever amount of lye or sodium hydroxide you're using, you must have at least that much liquid to mix with it. Anything over that, you can add to your oils. But with the lye, it has to be a 50-50 split. I always um, err on the side of caution and do like an ounce or two more just to be on the safe side. But that's the rule of thumb that you need to go by. So, got the coconut milk in there. And now I'm going to add my colloidal oats and my kale and clay because I want that in everything. And we'll get this all blended up and then I'm going to split this into half. So I'll have two batches to work with. I have my um, fragrant oil here split in two for both of the sides of it. So anyway, let me get this blended in and we will proceed forward. Okay, I'm ready to do my mountain portion here. So this is half of my oils with all the additives. I have my lye solution over here that's split in half. And now I'm gonna add my activated charcoal and my mica powder to the oils here before I add the, fra or the fragrance and the lye. I'm gonna go ahead and get this all in there and um, get it colored up real nice. And then we will proceed forward. All 
right, I'm gonna add my lye solution here, which has cane sugar, tuss of silk fibers, and sodium lactate. And we'll pour it down the stick blender here. And um, before I add the fragrance, uh, or after I add the fragrance, I might pour off just a teeny little bit of my mountain region here um, and add some TD to have some lighter and do an in the pot swirl just so it has a little dimension. I'm thinking about that, but you know, keeping my options open. Let's see how it behaves after we get the fragrance in. <laughs> So I just pulse and stir to emulsion. There we go. Now let's go ahead and get our fragrance in. Straight up savage and it smells really good. So funny, I love the names they come up with. They just crack me up. Sometimes they're just plain and descriptive and other times they're just kind of out there. <laughs> but it smells fantastic, so I'm loving it. If it behaves, I'm loving this. All right, I am going to pour off just a teeny little bit here and add some TT, TD, sorry, titanium dioxide, just to maybe bring it up to a grayish color. This is my titanium dioxide. It's one part water soluble TD to two parts water. There we go. And I guess I'll hop over here and give it a little blend. And I'm gonna come back over here and just get up to a nice light trace and then we'll do an in the pot swirl and get it down to start firming up and then we will shape our mountains. All right, so I'm gonna check this and see if it's ready to make my little mountain region here, if it's gonna hold a peak. I don't know. I'll try here, but I may have to wait a few more minutes and come back in. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wait a couple more minutes and come back in and make my peaks a little firmer on here. I'm back for the next step, which is the sky portion. And I've decided, so this is the silver mist and it's very purple. So I'm gonna add a little bit of bramble berries, uh, pewter silver to it, just to make it, I don't want it to look like a lavender sky. I want it to look sort of steely, you know, with maybe some purple hues. Um, so that's how I'm gonna add the pewter to it to kind of darken it up. I do have my, um, other mica over here, all ready to go. This is just a little distilled water in here that I've swished it around so it's easy to pour into. And then I will put my um, silver mist and pewter in this pot. So with all that being said, here is my lye solution. And this fragrance behaved perfectly on the bottom. It smells wonderful, it's behaving great. So straight up savage from Nature's Garden so far is getting a thumbs up from me.
All right, it's the next day, and I can't wait to get in here and cut these and see how those little mountains came out. That was really fun to do that. Um, it's smelling good this morning, and I did come in and steam earlier this morning. It just had a little bit of ash. It's not very bright, but it just brought a little sheen because it's a very subtle top on this, which I love. I think that kind of goes along with the whole you know, masculine theme. I didn't want it to be too frilly on top, but I wanted it to be beautiful, so I'm very happy with the top here. And I'm anxious to get in there and see how that embed looks, if we've got a daytime scheme or a nighttime scene. <laughs> It'll be fun to choose. I haven't named this soap yet, I'm not sure. I'm gonna wait till I get in there and see if I feel inspired. All right. Oh, I'm loving the side. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? ready to cut here and I'm just tickled I did just a very light I don't know if you can pick it up but a light glitter on the top I wanted it to kind of look like maybe stars if this is a night scene just you know sparkly just a little so I went very light on that I'm just gonna cut off my end piece here that's gonna go in my little sample packs and oh wow <laughs> that's pretty cool I'm happy I am thinking moon. What do you think? I'm thinking this looks like a night sky. But let's get a little farther in here and see for sure. These are super cool. Oh, I'm very happy. Keep going here. So that straight up Savage from Nature's Garden was really nice to work with. It smells fantastic. Um, I just had to wait a very short time till this was firm enough to set it up. It's really kind of cool. Looks almost mystical. I'm pretty much loving these. But anyway, I recommend that straight up Savage. I'm tickled. It performed well, smells good, and uh, yeah, these bars are great. So cool. Also on a personal note, I just, I like to use cold process embeds because melt and pour is hard to cut with a wire cutter. In fact, they'll say, when you buy a wire cutter, it'll say not for melt and pour. So when you're able to use cold process um, embeds, I think that it, it makes for much easier cutting. All right, this is an example of why I love in the pot swirl you get these awesome random swirls. You can't predict it, and it's just, I love it.